Hi, my name is Dave Jonasson and I'm a volunteer at Icelandic Roots. This is a quick uh, tutorial um, to talk about uh, some of the processes that are associated with logging on to the database. And we're going to be talking about four things. One is the uh, regular logon process. The second is what you do to change your password. Um, the third is uh, what do you do if you lose your username or password. And the fourth is the process that you go through every six months uh, when the system forces a password change. Well, we'll just uh, start with a housekeeping item. If you're looking at a screen that looks like this, uh, you might want to click this icon at the bottom right hand corner with uh, arrows uh, pointing to the four corners. Uh, if you click on that, um, what will happen is that you'll get a much larger screen and uh, it'll be easier to follow along. So let's start with the regular logon screen. Uh, the way that I can tell that I'm not logged on is uh, number one, I've got a little orange login menu item. Uh, if I were logged in, it would say welcome and my name and there would be a logout button at the bottom. So um, those two things tell me I'm logged in, and that and the fact that I'm looking at a logon screen. So the regular logon screen is not very exciting. It's uh, pretty much uh, what happens when you log on to lots of different uh, software. Uh, you put in your username here and your password here, and then you press the logon button. Now, there are a couple of um, uh, checkboxes here. Uh, I have uh, chosen to check the stay logged in for 14 days. And the purpose for that is that um, every time I come back, it would be sort of inconvenient if I had to log in each time. So it'll just uh, keep me logged in for up to 14 days or until I clear my cookies. And then um, I don't have to log in. So that's the um, first thing I wanted to talk about, a regular log on. Uh, the second thing is uh, how do you change your password? And um, I'm going to check this box here. And when I do that, uh, a new field opens up on the screen and that's the new password. So if I fill in all three, the username and the password and the new password, the, the username and the password are the old existing password. The new password is what you want to change it to. When I hit login now, I will be logged on. My old password will disappear and it will be replaced by my new password. So from this point forward, if I want to log in, I would have to log in with the new password. The old password is not retained and we don't know where it is. Well, we know where it is. It's no place. Um, the third thing we want to talk about is what happens if you lose your password. And um, this is relatively uh, simple, but it's a little bit complicated because the wording isn't the best. I sometimes get confused myself. If you have lost your username, you can enter your email. This is the email that you used, you gave the system when you registered. If you specify the email in this box here and hit this go button, um, we will send you an email with your username in it. And then you'll know your username. Um, if you don't know your password, you have to enter your email here and your username and then hit go. And what will happen is the system will then send that email uh, to your email address and it will contain uh, um, a new password. So your old password is overwritten at that point. And if you try to use it, um, it it'll just fail because that old password uh, has also disappeared. So at this stage, um, what you can do is take that email and put your username and the new password in here and log in and then you're good to go. Uh, if you want to change your password then your password in the email goes here and you can overlay it with something of your choosing and that's probably what I recommend uh, that you do at that stage. If you're, well actually I should back up and say um, when you press go, there will be a message, a confirmation message that tells you that email has, has been sent. Um, sometimes it takes um, the email uh, systems a few minutes to process. Uh, some are, are immediate and some are, you know, it can be up to a minute or two. But if you don't see it after a minute or two, you can also check your spam mailbox. That's, uh, we found some people that uh, have problems with that. And if um, 
you're struggling and, and you just can't get it to work, you can always use this contact us button. So on the contact us button, you just say here, I'm having problems logging on, tell us what the problem is and uh, we'll help you uh, get back in the water. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about, the last thing I wanted to talk about is if you're just running along here and you get a screen that looks like this, so maybe first thing in the morning you, you, you try to use the system and you get a screen, um, it says that uh, well, you have to change your password. And the fact is your new password has already been established. So your old password is no longer valid. There is a new password. You just don't know what it is until you go to your email. So what you need to do at this point is close your browser window Go to the email, and here's the email that you will have received. To change your password, please click on this link. So you click on the link, and again, the same thing applies. If, um, uh, if you don't see an email, you might check your spam. Uh, you might wait a minute, because sometimes it takes a minute to process through Yahoo or whatever. Um, and if uh, you still have problems, you can always use the contact us. But uh, most people don't have a problem with this. They click on here, and they will be taken to this screen. Now on this screen, your username uh, and your password have already been entered and you cannot um, change them. Now remember your old password is gone and you have a new password and that new password is gobbledygook. So what you need to do is you need to change it to a new password which will overlay this password here. So you do that and you hit login and um, everything is fine. Now. If you go through this process here at this stage and uh, ask for another password, um, this password here and your old password are gone and you need to, do, uh, to use the password that you get from here. So basically the system will always remember the last password. Uh, when you go through this process, there's a password that's generated and uh, it's in the email. Uh, you probably don't wanna go through this process here because if you do, then that email will no longer be valid and the password that you get through this email is valid. Anyway, I'm sorry, it's, a, it's, it's actually not as complicated as, as it appears, and most, uh, most people um, go through this without any problem. Um, thank you very much for listening, and uh, I just leave you with one, um, with one final note. Uh, if you are having problems, contact us, and we'll get you back working very quickly. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you, uh, we'll see you in another tutorial.